Oh my god. What even is this? The slope intercept. It's, it's. This is terrible. I don't know any of this. Slope intercept form. Straight line. Why? What does this even mean? I really wish I'd taken notes on this, but. As before, like, I had, like, the me more motivated me, so I wasn't even thinking about it. Um. Um. Who's somebody that might actually be responsible enough to do this? Who do I have from school on here? There's Hayden. <laughs> doubt, doubt he actually took notes on anything, so it definitely wasn't him. Uh, how about Ashlyn? She probably knows some of this stuff. She's in that other class period. They actually get something done. Oh, uh, turn my webcam. Here we go. Who she picks up? Hey! Hey, what's up? Oh, this is math homework. Have have you have you even looked at it yet? Um, no. Hey, do you like know any of the stuff that's on here? It's over like the slope intercept thing. Oh yeah, I do know the slope intercept. I have a a little note sheet if you would like to look at it. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Can you uh send it to me? Yeah, um, I'll explain it to you because it's a little confusing. All right. <laughs> okay, so are you on it right now? Yeah, it popped up and everything. Okay. Well, it's, um, the equation is y equals mx plus b, and m, it pretty much represents the slope, and b equals the y-intercept. And, uh, to, you can also find the slope using two points. So, uh, delta y over or delta x. Wait, wait, and, what, what's delta? Um, that means, like, you take the initial, my, or the final minus the initial, so, like, in this example, you can see that I have the coordinates 7 and 4, and then I have 6 and 3. And pretty much, I used the last minus the first. So, I have 3 minus 4 over 6 minus 7. Oh, okay. Okay, and then it, it ends up equaling negative 1 over negative 1, which equals 1 because 2 negatives. Yeah. And then so you end up with the equation y equals 1x plus b. Uh -huh. And then so then you have to plug in one of your coordinates that you have to find b. So I chose 6 and 3. And uh, you can see I plugged it in 3 equals 1 times 6 plus b. And then so you just multiply 6 by 1 and you get 3 equals 6 plus b. And then you have to subtract 6 from both sides, so you have only B on one side, and uh -huh. you get negative 3 equals B. Oh, okay. So the problem uh, ends up being Y equals 1X plus negative 3, or you could also say Y equals 1X minus 3. Oh, uh, what is this direct variation thing you have over on the side? Um, the direct variation is just pretty much an equation that has a Y intercept of 0. Which in my example, you can see I put y equals one half x plus zero. And if you type um, either of these problems into like a graph website, you can see that the y intercept um, actually tells how far um, it is on like the y intercept, like zero. So um, just pretty much the direct variation, it just passes through the origin and uh, Oh, my other problem, it's negative 3 down, and then it goes up. Alright, so it just goes up by 1, so the slope is 1, and then... Okay, yeah. I think I got it. Makes sense. you can also, like, just look at it on, like, a little graph thing. Yeah, alright. So that's, like, the first tip, like, half third of the paper is, um, uh, slope intercept. Now, the next part, uh, find... <laughs> I'm glad I could intercept your question. Why would you Why would you say that to me? <laughs> um. Anyway, um. Yeah. So, do you know anything about like the point slope form? I don't. No, but I do know someone who does. Who? Layla. I can add her to the group if you want. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I, I need to know that part, too. Okay. Here she's coming. Hello. Okay. What? Uh, what, what's
are you doing? Uh, you started on this math homework yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh, do you know any of the stuff that's on it? Yeah. Uh, like right now, we just finished with the slope intercept. Uh, do you know the point slope form? We didn't know that part. Yeah. Uh, point slope. For, for the equation for point slope form is y minus y sub 1 equals m um, in parentheses x minus x sub 1, where m is the slope of the given line and x sub 1 and x and y sub 1 are the coordinates of a given point on that line. So basically, you would take your slope that they're given and your point and your one point that you're giving. So let's say you have a line that goes through point as the points one and three, and it has a slope of two. So you would just plug it in. So the one would go where x sub one is, and the y, and the three would go where x sub y sub one is. So it'd be y minus three because that's your y value equals the slope, which is two, in parentheses x minus one because that's your x value. Uh huh. Point slope, point slope forms, that's all right, and can you change that into slope intercept? Yeah, you just have to simplify the problem. So you would distribute first. So you have y minus three equals two x minus two because you distributed distributed the two to the x and the negative one. So, and then you would just take your, you would just add 3 to both sides and subtract, subtracting it from y. So it would be y equals 2x plus 1. And then you have it into your slope intercept form. Oh, okay. So they're like both connected. Oh, oh, I just realized. Because in the point slope form, they give you the point, and then the slope, and then slope intercept, they give you the slope. And the in and oh, I kind, of, I kind of feel stupid now. I didn't realize that. Um, well, I'm glad I could pinpoint your question. Well, why, why do you keep doing this to me? Ashlyn literally did the same thing. That's just, right. all right. Well, I really want to leave that. Do you guys, do you guys have everything? That's, there's only no. the... I don't know standard. Yeah, how do you guys not know standard form? It's like the most standard out of all of them. You're telling us to stop. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, the mine was actually good, so there's a bit of a difference. Um, but do you guys really not know standard form? No. Oh, no. Well, well, let me just give you a quick run through. I'll just go ahead and answer the first problem on here. Uh, so, use that for an example. So, like, the main formula on uh, standard form is uh, AX plus by equals c. Obviously, you know what a, x, and y are. It's on the other two that we just did. Uh, a, b, and c is what uh, your, var your variables. So, like, whenever you're asked about standard form, they'll give you a and numbers for a, b, and c. So, like, for this first one, they give you it's 30 equals a, 20 equals b, and 300 equals c. So, like, uh, what you're trying to do on these is uh, you're actually trying to... Uh, find the y-intercept and the x-intercept. So to find the y-intercept, you change the x to 0. So you have 30 times 0 plus 20y equals 300. So then once you have 30 times 0, that equals 0, and then it doesn't do anything. So then at that point, you have 20y equals 300. So once you get to there, you have to get the y all the way by itself. So you move the 20 over, and then 300 divided by 20 is, uh, that would be 15. So then your y-intercept would be uh, 0, comma, 15. And that would be your y-intercept, because that's where the y crosses with 0. And then to do the same thing on the x-intercept, uh, you just do the same thing, but you make the y 0. So, instead, you'd have 30x equals 300, which is 10. So, it would be 10, 15. So, then that's what you do for uh, x-intercept. And that's how you do standard form.
intercept form into standard form? Oh yeah, totally. You just have to, uh, well, on here it's called B, which is the Y intercept, but on standard form it's called C. You have to get that by itself, and then you have to get the X and the Y in the same part. So if you have, like, uh, Y equals 3X plus 7, for that would be in slope intercept form. All you have to do is move the uh, 3X over, and then it becomes a negative 3X plus Y equals 7. But, and then you couldn't have a negative or a fraction in front of your X value. So would you just change the sign of everything to where it would be 3X minus Y equals negative 7? Oh, I actually almost forgot about that. Th thanks for reminding me. Yeah, you just have to divide everything by negative 1, which just flips the sign. So yeah, you would get 3x minus y equals negative 7. Okay. So yeah, I guess we've uh, all got everything. Wait, somebody just joined the call? Oh my gosh, do you guys know anything about the math homework? Wow. 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 Why do I hang out with you people? Okay, okay, let's start the finishing line so we can get this over with. <laughs> These are the lights we need, but not the lights we deserve. How'd you even get in this call? Her camera just froze in like the foot. <laughs> I can't hear you. Are you in there? Is it working? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you now. Hello? I'm sorry, you don't have any audio right now? What?